Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of... Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this bonus quick discussion video I want to make you guys aware of something that has actually now been confirmed. To be honest this has been confirmed or at least been out for a couple of days. I was going to do something on it sooner but I just wanted clarification. It, it's basically this. This is the first thing that I saw. You can tell I'm ridiculously excited about this. I took this picture, somebody sent it to me on the Wednesday, quite early on the Wednesday and I was like nah that's not you know it's got to be fake. It can't be true, but it 100% is. And I'm ridiculously excited for this. So, because it's all been confirmed. Here we go. On one of the, um, which one's this off? This is off TFW 2005. So it is 100% confirmed that the next HasLab product is going to be something to do with victory by the looks of it. And this, I suppose, is going to be a dream come true for someone like myself or for anybody who, who follows me and knows me on this channel how much I love these figures. Um, and yeah, let's have a quick discussion of what we think it's going to be before it's going to happen. I'm thinking because it's HasLab, it's got to be something big. It's got to be something huge. It's not just going to be a standard figure. And for those of you who are unaware or for those of you who don't collect uh, G1 figures, I'm just going to move this guy out of the way. I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be this guy, Victory Sabre. But the thing is already, he's a massive, massive figure. So for new collectors, this will help you out. So here's, of course, Siege Jetfire. And you can see there that, you know, he is he's towering above him. He's a good couple of inches, three, probably three inches bigger than the Siege Jetfire. So I'm kind of hoping um, that we're going to get two Commander Classes, maybe a Commander Class Victory Leo and a Commander Class Star Sabre to be able to combine them. That's, I suppose, the number one ultimate dream. That's one of the ideas. Um, and then the other one, I suppose, they did a little bit of it with Combiner Wars where they made all Voyager Class figures for Devastator. If they were to do all Voyager Class figures for, for these guys... Or they could do all leader class size figures and do them combining for Road Caesar. I should have brought him down actually for that. But yeah, so this is, it's, it's been confirmed. I just wanted to, as I say, share it with you guys. Let me know what you think it's going to be. Let me know what you want or what you think it's going to be. Um, what you want it to be rather. Could have Dino King. The thing about Victory is there were so many, I've just seen this guy standing here. So many amazing characters that of course didn't really make the mainstream. So any of these but I'm thinking personally because it's going to be HasLab and it's going to be, you know, big. It's going to be grand. It's going to be, it's, it's got to be big. It's got to be huge. It's got to be better than just your standard figures. So I'm thinking my money's on one of these two, to be honest. It'd be nice to see a Road Caesar, maybe even a Dino King. But the reason why I don't think it's going to be Dino King is because, of course, they're pretenders. So let's just say we go completely overboard and say that they're going to be Voyager class figures. They'd have to make ginormous shells, dinosaur shells for the pretenders. So I'm thinking... Um, it, I don't think it'll be desirous because it's just one particular figure. I think it's going to be one of these two. Um, let me know what you guys think and wow, how good is it going to be? Can't wait for them to confirm which figure it is going to be. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.